The structure of our page is ready, but our page doesn't look anything as of what we saw uh, in the first video. So let's go to our editor and open our core.css file. We're going to start with the wild character and we apply a margin of null, padding same, then we have outline none, then we will have border none and color for everything will be FFF. Then we have body tuck. For body tuck, we're going to apply font size of 12 pixels, line height will be 20 pixels, then we have background of 111, which is nearly black. Padding will have 30 pixels from, uh, from the top and bottom, and zero from left and right. Then we have text align uh, center, and font family, we will simply use Arial, Verdania, and Sans Serif. Now, after the body track, we're going to create definition for our wrapper. We start with width. This time we will have 600 pixels. Margin will be zero from top and bottom, out of from left and right. Text align will be left. Then we have chart, which is our unordered list with the bars and form values. And for both of these, we will define width as, as 559 pixels. Then we go to our chart. And for this one, we're going to have a list style set to none, border left will be uh, solid, one pixel. 666. Then we will have border bottom, the same thing, and margin bottom we will have 20 pixels so that our fields are a little bit further down. Okay, we have border left uh, and border bottom obviously here to, indi to indicate x and y uh, on the diagram. Then we go for our chart li and chart li span and both of these will have height of 20 pixels after this we go for chart li percent which will have width of 30 pixels position absolute top zero and right will be minus 40 pixels and then text align uh, we go for the right okay we have absolute position positioning here but obviously we need to have something relative as well because otherwise everything's gonna go uh, uh, everything's going to be uh, positioned absolutely to the body tag and we don't want this to happen obviously so chart li and now we have position relative then we have display block we have height of 20 pixels but I think we've already defined this yes we've got li so we can remove this definition here then we have width of 554 pixels and why do we have 554? Five, five, five? If we look at our definition here for the wrapper, it's 600 pixels. Then we have uh, minus 40, which obviously we need to reserve for our span on the right hand side. So if we take 40 out of 600, obviously we have 560. And then we have a border right, sorry, border left on our chart, which we obviously uh, have one pixel, so we have to take this out. And then we have 559. Five, That's why chart and form values equal 559 width and our li tag has 554 because we're also going to apply margin top 0, right 0, bottom 5 pixels and left 
five pixels. So obviously from 559 we need to deduct this five pixels from a left hand side. And then we also apply text align to the left for our ally tag. Then we have a definition for the chart li bar which will be width zero to start with. Then we have red bar so our ally tag with the class red and the bar inside of this uh, spun with the class bar inside of this we want the background to be simply red. Then we have blue bar which will be background blue then we have yellow bar background yellow then we will have orange bar background uh, orange which may not work with all of the browsers, but if you want to change it to X, uh, hash value, just, just, just do it, obviously. Then we'll have purple bar, purple bar will have background purple. Okay, then we have field, and field will have padding, of three pixels, uh, width, which will be 50 pixels, border, will be solid, one pixel, black, then we have float, left, margin, right will be five pixels, and color of the text will be 333. And that's everything inside of our CSS file. If we go back to our browser and refresh page now, you can see everything is ready for our bars now to appear uh, within the chart itself. So let's move to the next video and look at our core.js.